We are learning more about the about long COVID. That is when someone who's had COVID has symptoms that have lasted for months. Today, doctors from Duke talked about what they know and a lot about what they don't. CBS 17's Randy Ayala joins us now after being on the Zoom call. This is something, Randy, that has been fascinating to a lot of people. Yeah, Bill, and you know there's a lot doctors still don't know about long COVID. And the short answer here is much of it is going to be kind of wait and see. But we do know long-term COVID is not uncommon. Defining long-term COVID is something health experts are still trying to figure out. Right now, we know it includes anyone experiencing COVID symptoms beyond 12 weeks. And it's fairly common. Reports showing anywhere from 10 to 50% of people report having it. Over here at Duke, we're seeing numbers that are similar to that. Um, if you look at, it also is somewhat dependent on the symptom that you're describing uh, post-COVID. Because if you look at brain fog, um, about even up to 80% of patients are quoting brain fog after COVID. Um, so it is, it is a burden on patients. Fatigue, shortness of breath, and brain fog are some of the more common symptoms. Right now, there's some concern brain fog could put a person at a higher risk for dementia. There's also worry about how long-term COVID affects children. So countries like Italy and Israel and the UK that have shown that long COVID in kids is evolving and is becoming an issue for them with rates of about 40% of kids still having ongoing symptom effects at an average of 162 days. Dr. Gio Vicini says these countries are reporting seeing cognitive effects like memory attention disorders and anxiety in kids, but researchers are still trying to figure out if that's COVID related or pandemic related. You know, it's just so much doctors are really trying to figure out. Duke has multiple clinical trials going on right now for those experiencing different symptoms from long COVID and really invite anyone to participate. Bill.